A crook is showing appreciation with a thank you note, but how the victim is returning the favor. An historic home gives after dark tours for one night only. We'll show you what it's like with the lights out. And the Gator volleyball team played its round of 16 match in the NCAA tournament tonight. We'll have highlights later in sports. Those stories and more. The TV 20 News at 11 starts now. This is News at 11 on WCJB TV 20, your local station. State troopers have arrested the driver in an accident that killed four people in Gilkers County. Troopers say in June 2018, Blake DePlaz of Jacksonville drove through a stop sign on County Road 340 at the intersection of U.S. Highway 129. An SUV with the right of way crashed into the side of DePlaz's car. His four passengers were killed while DePlaz suffered critical injuries. He was under 21 and his blood alcohol level was .083, just over the legal limit. He was arrested today on charges of DUI manslaughter. Crime is down across the state, but numbers released today by the FDLE indicate a mixed bag for North Central Florida. Alachua County enjoyed the biggest drop in the first half of 2019, with crime numbers falling more than 10 percent, primarily because of fewer robberies and larcenies. The Bradford County numbers were not available because the sheriff's office did not report them. Marion County fell nearly 9 percent, like Alachua, due, largely due to fewer property crimes. The numbers spiked in tiny Union County, where only 60 crimes were reported in the first half of the year. But there were more rapes and larcenies reported in 2019. Alachua County Fire Rescue crews put out a house fire in southwest Gainesville. When crews responded, about 25 percent of the home was already burned. They were able to extinguish the fire quickly, but only one room of the house was untouched by the blaze. They say a closed door stopped the fire from spreading there. No one was home at the time of the incident. This is college graduation weekend across north central Florida. UF, Santa Fe College, and the College of Central Florida all held their fall commencement exercises today. And more than 100 graduates plus family, friends, and faculty filled the Howard Center in Lake City for the Florida Gateway College graduation. Students at FGC graduated from programs offering occupational certificates and bachelor's degrees. It was a trip through time tonight as the Hale, historic Hale Plantation Homestead in Kanapa Plantation held its annual candlelight visits. TV 20 Shauna Kalafi is live in the studio to show us the house where history comes alive at night. The historic Hale Homestead usually offers daytime tours, but once a year they open it at night so guests can see what an evening on the property would have been like in the 1800s.